Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for July 7th, 2016. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right now, you see that uh, after uh, the bounce yesterday, we had a nice uh, rejection of prices below the previous session's low. Price bounced back above those lows and, and quietly stepped higher the rest of the session. And that was part of our idea. Early on, what we talked about was that price could find some early low and swing back up across the range because after the recent sell-off and the resulting bounce, we were likely to see price trade in the range, hold sideways and kind of fill out this range throughout most of the week. And so far, we're seeing just that. Uh, for the most part, uh, nothing really uh, to glean out of this uh, price activity here. We're near the HVN. We're trading in a, in a chunky part of the profile here where we could just sit here and trade the edges. So you have to be very, very patient. If there's rejections above 2100, the expectation would be a push back toward 2060s. Anything in 2060s could be returned back up uh, over the next several days. So right now it's kind of range bound, not a whole lot to glean from the daily chart just yet. If we drop down into the intraday time frame, and this is something we talked about in the trading room yesterday, which was uh, fading new highs, fading new lows, uh, and one of those opportunities came off this low down here, fading that new low back toward uh, recent resistance. It also came back to uh, prior highs on the day. And then from there, it just continued to quietly walk higher, uh, eventually culminating with a move where we currently are in the 2090s. So for the most part, very nice, decent rejection on these lows, a nice walk back up. This is the previous uh, week's close right here, and if prices can't see acceptance above that zone, we could be looking at a move right back to 5-day VPOC, which is 2079s. So right now, we could be looking at a fade new highs, fade new lows type of day as this thing develops its trading range. So again, we're in that zone right now where there's not a whole lot of edge, so you have to be very, very careful. Let's take a look at crude oil here. So here's crude oil. We'll bring this to a daily time frame. One thing we talked about before was this major key range right here. We have 51.67 down to 45.91, a midpoint at 48.79. One thing we talked about before was watching for the stops to come out and then looking for them to go all the way into the bottom of the range between 45.91 and 45.94. Very, very clear confluence there. And then we were looking for a trap to occur at this area. Instead, we got a very clean reversal and we saw a bounce right back up. So very nice rejection, exactly what we were looking for, but we were actually looking for a little bit higher as well. Anywhere in the 4879s could be a great area to target ahead. The first pullback into the 25% level, 4735 from above, have been, has been defended. So we could see a quiet continuation higher over the next day or two toward that 4879. Uh, any push into that zone or beyond it could be an area where bull, bears look to defend and re-attack the, the bottom of the range. So right now, bulls defending 4590s for a likely push into 4879.49. Once we get into that area, it could be another rotation back down. So keep an eye on 47.35 right now because that level is currently bid. If we look at an intraday time frame, you'll see right now, bringing this out a little bit here, you can see how prices rallied from uh, the, the lows. And one thing we talked about yesterday in the trading room was the rounded pattern that we had been forming in crude oil here. So we had a rounded off pattern, very clear horizontal resistance at 47. I mentioned above 47, likely squeezes all the way back up uh, the chain here, and that could take us as high as 49s. So right now we've already seen some of that play out. Very nice push through 47s and a nice continuation. Here's the test off of 47.35. So we know that area is bid. So between 47.35, 47.20, any rotations into that area could offer a buying opportunity for 48.79 and 49.40. All right, let's take a look now at gold futures here. So taking a look at gold, we'll bring this into a daily time frame. Um, very, very significant rally that we've seen here recently especially with the retest of 1306, 1307. That's a high confluence area, both from key level perspective and also from a volume profile perspective. Very solid bounce and defense off that area. And now we're seeing an attempt to hold above the top of the uh, current key range, which is 1362 half. 
that's where prices are currently holding. If there's any rejection of prices above this area, the likely return to 1306 increases here. So any failure to hold above 1362 half opens the door to a retest back toward 1306. That's still an area where bulls want to defend and bring it back up. Okay, let's take a look now at the NQ here. Here's the NQ, this is a daily time frame. Very similar to what we talked about with the ES. We had a significant bounce and rejection back up. So we had a major sell-off, a major reversal. All of that volatility here was likely going to manifest itself into digestion this week. And that's what we're currently seeing. A little down, a little up, uh, and we could see more of that develop. So once we see rejection above 44.50, we could be coming down to 43.50. Once we see a move into that area, we could come right back up. So remember, uh, after all this volatility here, we're likely going to trade mostly in a range very similar to what we did before the volatility right here. We're in the same zone. So look to fade the edges until proven otherwise. Uh, and again, very similar to the ES, there's not a whole lot of edge at this point of the chart right now. So these prices don't present a whole lot of edge. You've got to wait till we get outside the range, and that requires a little bit of patience. So taking a look at the intraday time frame here for the ES, rather the NQ, uh, very similar to what we called with the CL yesterday. We had a rounded bottom type of formation building out here. This rounded bottom, uh, I mentioned if we can get above 44.10s, you likely squeeze all the way back up to the recent highs. And that's what happened here, 44.50. So you can see how this thing played out. But now that we're at 44.50, uh, we could see some rejection at these areas for a return back downward toward 44.10s. So again, uh, right now, rejections off of this zone open up a return back to 44.10, 44.05. Any return to that area could offer a buying opportunity for a move back up toward resistance. Failure to hold 44.05 opens up return to the recent lows. That's going to be 43.70s. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck and trade well.